How's it going? This is Fox back again. Uh, this is part two of the deconstruction of my Darude Feel the Beat remix using Bitwig. Um, in the first part, I went over the pluck with Silent for One. That was this geezer. Nothing to it. Straightforward. Saw a wave, triangle wave. Plucky element comes from a short, snappy decay on the amp envelope and a filter on the uh, an envelope on the master filter. Today, we're going to be going over this guy is a pad made with absinthe this is the best tool for creating pads in my eyes much better than any other VST that I've got even better than the virus in my eyes it just pisses a pad this probably took me about three minutes to make some of the the, the filters it's got the comb filters and this etherizer effect just make it so easy to make a warm lush evolving pad so this is what we've got You can hear it pumping at the minutes because I've got some modulation on with the dynamics doing some side chain compression, but I'll turn that off so you can hear what it's like without. I've got some uh, effects on it as well with inside Bitwig. I'll turn these off again. We'll talk through these later. <clears throat> so this is just absent for now. Not a lot to it, hardly any modulation at all, just uh, one envelope on uh, a filter within the etherizer. But yeah, for now I'll go ahead and initialize this. So this is what you start off with, it puts a single sine wave on. I change this one to a saw reel, which emulates a saw tooth from a hardware synth. I change it to double to stack it up a bit. Transposed it a tiny little bit plus 11 plus 12 set the phase at 0.999 two voices in unison I had this a tiny amount I think it was Okay, oscillator B, I chose to double again. This was a woodwind 2. There's no right or reason with me really when I choose these. I mean, I'm, I've been using Ableton for a while now, so I do know most of the simple waveforms and I know roughly what they sound like. So perhaps I did go to a woodwind because I was making a pad, but you can pretty do whatever you want as long as you set the envelopes up right and use the right effects to get a pad. So yeah, I choose the woodwind 2. I transpose this up one octave, plus 12. I had it at 11, 9990, phase 0 0.999 again. <clears throat> 0. 0. 0.999. The unison are set to twin also. If ever I do the unison, I generally keep them on the same setting. Just change it slightly. I had this one at 0.03, something like that, just slightly above. So they're mo moving slightly away from each other. Different octaves helps thicken the sound up again. It's all real basic stuff. I went real different for oscillator C. I chose a fractalized wave, and it was a saw smooth. That's 
what it would sound like if it was a double. Fractalize gives it a lot more grit compared to the just a normal one or a double. Transpose it up one octave again. Unison for this, it comes up slightly different when you have a fractalize. It doesn't give you all the, the op it doesn't give you the option to choose the number of voices. You can just transpose the voices, the voice that you've already got. And I had this at 0.0086. That's the basic setup for the three oscillators, I say nothing crazy, I didn't do any mod for any of the three oscillators, I didn't do any individual filters for the three oscillators, I just had one uh, comb filter on the master filter, this master section here, I changed it to a filter and it was comb, <coughs> kept it pretty much how it was, I pulled it down slightly, the hertz to 201, the feedback I had at 0.127 and the volume for the feedback I had at 0.17 so not much it's not doing an awful lot it just helps thicken it out ever so slightly so the effect I had was an etherizer we'll go ahead and set up the uh, the envelopes for the, for the three amps first and then we'll go to the etherizer at the end so we'll go to envelope, show all envelopes, which it is. I didn't really do anything. I just back the attack off slightly on all three. So it takes a little while for the volume to come in. Okay, we'll go to the effect now then. The effect I chose was an etherizer. This is a crazy bit of kit. I'm, if I'm honest, I'm not exactly sure what it does or how it does it. But mainly the only thing I mess around with is the filter. Um, so yeah, the wet, I pulled down slightly, pushed up slightly to minus five. The dryer kept where it was. I always use this surround. It just helps boost the effect and give it more depth. Push the spread round to nearly maximum about two o'clock on a clock dial. Keep the rotate button check. Don't rotate, sorry. Keep the seconds on two. Transpose the tone up ever so slightly, 0.002. didn't touch any of the settings whatsoever the only thing as I say was a filter I clicked it turned it on kept it on a band pass kept the cue where it was random control sensor where it was anything I did is pull the cutoff down of this to about 1570 Hertz if you right click on this this cutoff frequency the Hertz create a new envelope this is the only other envelope I did the last bit of modulation and I didn't really do much with it again gives it an up and a downy sort of feel it's a real simple envelope the attack I had at about one, decay level in between one and a half and 1.75, but the level quite down low, and then a release out to about 2.5. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the patch done with inside Absinthe, so real straightforward, nothing to it again. Um, I'll turn these effects on, we've got inside Bitwig now, I'll turn the dynamics on, I say I showed you what that did, it ju it was just uh, giving it that pumping field, it was a side chain compression to the kick.
really good these dynamics uh, why they've done it in a separate entity to a compressor I do not know because that is all it is it is a compressor the only thing I don't like about this is uh, when you turn it on as standard the ratio is on zero so if you don't know what you're doing you're playing around with the threshold and the knee the attack release and you think well, nothing's happening and it gives you this option pre fader and post fader you have to make sure it's pre fader anytime you choose to side chain from anything but yeah real straightforward it shows you the gain reduction as this blue line on the side I've got a basic chorus with inside Bitwig, Bitwig as well. We'll turn this on. It makes a big difference, sisters. I'll creep it in slowly. I've got the LFO shape within the chorus on a sign. The rate set at 0.31 hertz, so quite slow. The amount 29.3%. A little bit of a high cut, and the chorus time 19.1 milliseconds. Nothing to it again. Real straightforward. The last effect I've got is a reverb, so we'll turn that on. Got the room size at 139%, so it's not a massive reverb. No pre delay. Well, 4.50 milliseconds. It's not a pre delay that the ear's going to pick up. Bit of diffusion, decay time of 1.26 seconds, so reasonable tail. Dead center with a mix and boost the width up. I really like this graphic display on this reverb within Bitwig. You can drag and move these boxes around, change the from up to down is the decay time like on the graph it's like your filter on uh, Ableton but it's more of a a graphical sort of feel to it but yeah it's nice reverb just a bit of EQing getting rid of the really 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 highs There you have it. Nice, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. It is a pad, but it's not really because it's got that pumping effect to it. I will call it a pad. But yeah, so real straightforward, three basic oscillators, one comb filter, and a bit of effect with the etherizer. Lovely to say, Absinthe is a pad master. People overlook this time and time again. The interface isn't as user friendly as what Massive are and some of the other ones, but once you get used to it, it's a brilliant bit of kit. I could use it for everything if I was honest. But yeah, for now, that's it for this patch. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Google+. Plus. It's Sound Design Tutorials. Best way to get hold of me if you've got any questions is tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. Okay, thanks again for watching. Cheers.